vortex. Whoever's watching me, I really appreciate you. I'll never be able to tell you. Aside from what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that the dream inside my head Fast. But to be honest, I wouldn't know what to do with it if I had it right in front of me, if it was something that I could actually see. Not just on the back of my eyelids. I 
wish that for once I would come home and get a bunch of shit done, yeah. I wish that for once I would write a list and I would accomplish everything on that list. I wouldn't go out of my way to avoid it. I wish that just for once when I tell myself to go take a shower, I'd go take a shower, not question myself. I wish that for once when I write a set list down, I get up on stage and I say everything that I want to say right off the page. I wish that I could be all the things that I am inside my head and I wouldn't have to keep on dreaming. But I guess if the dream dies, I die. I know I've said that before and I cry and cry. Cause I can't get out of it sometimes But at the same time, if I could get out of it Well, I wouldn't know what to do Cause it takes up so much of my time, it's true But I do wonder How much more I could accomplish if I didn't have it I guess I'll never know because, you know, I'm the person that I am and I can't really let this person go because, you know, it's my core and all that. Sometimes I hate myself, but most of the time it's a love fest. Maybe. Talking to me about me And we're laughing at me about me And me and me and me and me And I look around me at the majority of society And they can't wait to run away From whatever thing is going on inside of them You are, baby. You can't even cross anything off a list, and you think that you're gonna help society better exist. And it's kind of arrogant, isn't it? Yeah. Don't think I'm not aware of my own bullshit, okay? I can smell it. I can smell it. It fucking stinks. You think I don't know? It's annoying. You know what else is annoying? The fact that I've, I've probably shot like maybe 30, 40 videos the past few days and I haven't watched any of them. And uh, I like to give myself a lot to do because the more I have to do, like I feel like the more I can accomplish. So if I had like five videos to watch, like I wouldn't be like as determined to save the world you know you got you gotta have that kind of determination I'm a very serious person I was thinking about that tonight like all these people doing comedy like they don't give a fuck about anything they really don't like if, if they give a fuck about comedy it's because they want a career you know they're not trying to save the world they're not trying to make the world a better place they just want to make money jerking off on stage like that's essentially what they're doing you know especially when they get up there and just talk about their genitalia the whole time so like the more that I think about it the more I just like really want to quit doing comedy because I mean people don't understand because they haven't actually seen like stand up at these open mics they don't know what people are talking about it's mainly fucking sex dude it's sex it's race and back to sex and weed and other drugs so yeah it's pretty it's pretty boring it's pretty boring it's pretty bland it's pretty dull I'm 
so sick of our society. And I know that I talk about this a lot and it's, it's probably annoying cause I'm just beating a dead horse, but you know, society just keeps handing me that billy club, you know, like, no, you're not done, bitch. You're not done. You got to keep going. <laughs> But, yeah, man, I, I feel like I'm sort of stuck because, like, there's a lot of stuff that I really, really want to say, but I just don't know the proper venue, the proper, like, art form that I could say it in. So it's like, what, what am I going to do? Should I just perform in, in a fucking parking lot or something? Like, <laughs> just hope that somebody shows up just, like, take one of my couches from my living room and just like carry it around with me and, and just like drag it around and like leave it somewhere and just you know do do comedy like wherever I feel like it <laughs> I'm just trying to think outside the box here because like I'm just so bored with like what I've been doing and I just want to switch it up I want to do something cray cray you know I mean why not now's the time to just say fucking pull up a couch in a parking lot and <laughs> hope that somebody shows up and listens to me. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just trying to keep it fresh and I just, I'm, I'm sick of myself. I'm not just sick of society. Maybe I'm sick of society because I'm sick of me. Maybe I'm just projecting. I don't know. You tell me, Vortex. You leave me a comment and you tell me, shut the fuck up, bitch. Stop complaining. Okay? You're probably not going to leave a comment. But if you do, I'll appreciate whatever feedback you want to give me. I don't care how terrible it is. I don't care how negative it is. You call me a cunt sore. That's fine. I am. Uh... <laughs> Just know that there's probably nothing that you're going to say to me that I don't already know. But it's always good to have feedback. It doesn't matter, like, what kind of feedback it is. I know I need to take a shower. Okay. I know that already. That's why I'm scratching my head, because it itches. And not from lice, but because I haven't, haven't taken a shower. Mm -hmm. That's a necessary action that should happen fairly soon. But... I keep putting it off because, like, I put off stuff like that, you know, like, anything that's a social norm, I'll, I'll put it off until I absolutely have to. There's, like, no option left. But, uh, 